video I will be describing the arthroscopic panorama view of the subacromial space via deltoid fascia release. So here we are starting with a view of the subacromial space with the camera viewing from the posterior portal. This is the anterolateral portal. The tap for the anchors was utilized to measure the space available between the deltoid fascia and the proximal humerus. Here it measures 7mm as demonstrated with the ruler in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now the camera has been moved to the anterolateral portal and a view of the subacromial space is established prior to the deltoid fascia release for sake of comparison. The view is somewhat obscured by the deltoid fascia. Now the camera has been reinserted through the posterior portal and the radio frequency ablation device is inserted through the anterolateral portal to commence the deltoid fascia release. Initially the release progresses in a caudal direction proceeding to make an incision in the deltoid fascia which is in line with the anterolateral portal. It is then extended in a cranial direction up to and beyond the lateral acromial edge. The deltoid fascia is then taken off the lateral acromial edge with the ablation device as can be seen here. We then continue towards the anterolateral corner of the acromion, slowly taking off the deltoid fascia and the insertion of the coracoacromial ligament from the bone. Again, the lateral edge of the acromion is revisited and any remaining deltoid fascia is removed. Next, the arthroscopic shaver is then inserted into the anterolateral portal and the deltoid fascia is gently removed posterior to the anterolateral portal. So here some bursa is removed from the proximal humerus, aiding in preparation for the cuff repair to follow. The bursectomy continues into the subdeltoid bursa, which aids in providing a capacious area for work on the lateral row anchors during a cuff repair and the proximal biceps groove for any tenodesis surgery which is performed. Hemostasis is achieved as required. Now the deltoid to humerus distance is measured here in the same way with the tap used for the uh, anchors. Here we measure 19 millimeters as indicated on the ruler in the bottom right hand corner. This is an increase of 12 millimeters which represents a 170% increase in the space between the deltoid and the humerus. The camera is now moved to the anterolateral portal after the deltoid fascia release. Here we can see it also provides this panorama view of the subacromial space with clear vision of the whole proximal humerus essentially in the single view.